No, of course not. That's why you're in the police station, because you're innocent. When am I not a suspect? That's why you stole the gun from Dorian's safe and went MIA after my husband was killed. And that's why the police have an APB ad on you, because you're innocent. I am innocent, and it's not like the police dragged me in here after some long manhunt. I turned myself in. Is it some weird scheme to beat the LPD at their own game? No, because I'm innocent, and I can prove it. Really? Yes, really. Okay, fine. I took the gun from Dorian's safe, and I was going to use it to confront Victor, make him give back everything that he took from me. But you're innocent. I didn't shoot the guy. Look, if the gun had gone off during our conversation, I wouldn't have been that broken up or not. It. it would have been karma that pulled the trigger. But you're sorry he's dead. Yes, I am, because I never had a chance to confront him. And I didn't get a chance because of my children, because of Jack, because of Star and Danielle. They didn't know that Victor wasn't their father. It's not their fault. For whatever reason, they loved him, and I would never do anything like that to my children. Prove it! This love won't mean anything until we have the gun to compare it to. Yeah, which means we need to find the gun. Any leads on Todd's whereabouts? You see he's in the box. Who brought him in? He came in voluntarily. He's cooperating? Mm-hmm. We even copped to taking the gun from Dorian's safe. But he says he never fired the gun, and when we find it, it'll clear him. Whoa. What do you mean, find it? He doesn't know where it is? No, he, uh, he says he gave it to this guy, Louie, you know, the homeless guy down at the docks. And, uh, I guess Louie was going to turn it into the LPD for some cash. Uh, let me guess. We don't have it. No, no, we don't. Hey, look, you want to take this one? Should go down there, find Louie, see if he has the gun. Bain finds Louie, Louie will show him the gun. The cops will see that the gun has never been fired. The whole thing will be cleared right up. Mm. Everything tied up into a nice little bow, huh? You don't believe me? Why should I? <laughs> you slammed Victor again and again for stealing your life, even though none of that was his fault. Right, says him and our crazy mother. You threatened his life, and you finally made good on those threats. Uh, you haven't changed a bit in eight years. You still don't listen to a word I said. Eight years in an underground prison, you're the one who hasn't changed a bit. You don't think. Ever. You just react to whatever's threatening you by lashing out like some kind of venomous snake without one oh, thought right, to how your me. actions like might kind of affect the people around wild you. Wild animal. I'm practically crawling on my belly. Pretty much. And how about you? You're supposed to be the brains of this little outfit, right? You were always the smart one. If you're so smart, how come you didn't see right through him? You wouldn't be mourning your dead husband if you'd known the truth about him all along. The truth? You're an idiot, Delgado. You fell in love with an imposter. Jack's lying, like always. Hey. Over here, baby. Big guy. Oh. Yeah, I know that your big brother, he does sometimes lie. All the time. He lied about Santa. Mm hmm. I remember. Then we saw him on the roof. Jack's lying. I know it. Well, this time, sweetie. Jack is telling the truth. Look at me. Daddy's gone. Did I You think that I killed Victor Lord Jr.? Well, it has crossed your mind. Yes, of course it crossed it. It doesn't mean that I'd actually do it. Like the night you took that very gun to the Vicar Man premiere. You wanted to use it on him then. Yes, you're right. I did. And I also told you that I didn't go through with it. I lost my nerve. Yes. You did. You lost your nerve then. But did you get it back? I don't know what we should do about our spark. I mean, I appreciate that Rama thinks that you should fill in this hole in your life by reconnecting with your first love, but I... What? I just don't think that we should read too much into that kiss. You just said it was amazing. It was. I mean, the, the, the kiss, the kiss is not the problem. Everything else is. I mean, my life is a mess. My father's on house arrest. My sister has moved out to raise the baby that she had with my ex-fiance. And then Ford, uh, just, we have this complicated relationship over our baby. Right. And that's not even the worst of it. My, my uncles, what's going on with them? I mean, my Uncle Victor just died and my Uncle Todd just came back kind of confusing. Yeah, and what we thought was a spark could have just been that. You know, could have just been confusion. 
Jess, I, I know the difference between confusion and excitement, and trust me, that kiss was all about excitement. You know, maybe something's still there. A real connection that can change our lives. If we let it. <laughs>